Hello and welcome back to Garen River vs. Potionomics. I am up to day 27 and I am going to try and make some money over today and tomorrow so that I go into next week with a boatload of cash. Loads of stuff to collect, 8 Ogre Shadows, 7 Spriggan Horns, 8 Citrus, 2 Mana and 7 dodgy looking things. Just farming up some stuff that I think is good but I didn't have a lot of and a couple more free manners. Some Grand Thunder Tonic, Grand Mana Potion, Greater Drowsiness, a Frosty Aged Thunder Tonic. I think I'm just going to pop straight out and I'm going to go see Luna and see what marketing is available for tomorrow. Drowsiness Cure, can't use, can't sell. Enhancers. That could work, and basic potions. The fact that it's basic potions 3 makes me think it's going to be a significant increase. So I might go for that one because I do have quite a few of those. They're fairly easy to produce en masse. Plus, I'm fairly sure that one of my shelves buffs basic potions. All right, I'm going to go for that. Ah, Roxanne's um, enhancements have changed. It's now taste and something, taste and taste and yeah, before they were just one thing at a time. So I'm going to try the taste and sensation. What does that, what have I just bought? While I'm out, I'll just pick up some stuff. Ah, sulfuric falls wall, shelling pudding, loads of stuff from Zid, thank you, lustrous pearl, owl bear pheromones, oh wow. Look, they're, those two are yellow. That's Those are the ones I just bought, so presumably that means that for today, that's completely ignored. Interesting. And Crystalline Forest Wall, Delirium Shroom, Red and Brown, Silver Dollop, Crystalline Floor, Damn Mint, some stuff from, oh, Gin Blossom, yep, nice. Thank you, Baptiste. All oh, this stuff's quite cheap, actually. All right, I think I'm going to get four of each of those because I'm running a bit low on cash and I definitely don't... Ah, uh, uh, yeah, okay, just to get the rare one of each. Oh, wow, loads of stuff to give uh, Quinn. Oh, Glutton for Commerce, just got an achievement. And I was actually looking at that one earlier today, which is like um, expand a hundred things in one playthrough. I went around, gifted everybody, sent my three heroes off on just basic enchanted forest stuff. Uh, and Mint, I've unlocked the next level up. Speaking of which, Crystalline Forest Floor. I mean, it's not bad. Kind of stylish. Yeah, let's put that on the, the main shop floor. Uh, Shadow Step Wall. Oh, the Crystalline Forest. Wow, look at that. And the Sulfuric Falls. Uh, no, I'll go with the Crystalline. Red and brown. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with the blue as well to match the crystalline. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. So I've got grand potions, grand... yeah. So I think I just need to make a load of grand stuff. That's probably the best speed potion I can get, because that's like the maximum blue I've got and the maximum yellow I've also got. So... oh no. There. That is the maximum magamins I can put into a single thing. Uh, Is that worth it though? It actually isn't, because the um, the value seems to go up when it crosses each one of these lines. So although the other one is like four Magamins less, it is this is much easier and cheaper for me to make and has the same selling price. Also, I checked in the these things and the four recipes, like the base price of the speed potion is slightly higher than the stamina, which is higher than the mana, which is higher than the health. So presumably that means this, uh, the like a speed potion at this level is worth more than the others at this level. So hopefully that is my best bet, and I'm going to basically do a load of these. So a second batch of those, and it's not really worth me trying to make more because I don't have the Magamins for it. What I will do is um, try and do... Damn, it does have to be of a particular kind. All right, I'm just going to age these. Is that a good idea? 
No, I need to age ahead of time. I can't age something I'm planning to sell tomorrow. So instead, I will age the four superior ice tonics. Oh yes, and my stamina. Stamina potions are done. 651. Hey, Corsac. Thank you for the loot. Thank you, Zid. Thank you, Mint. Zid and Corsac have gone back to the forest, but Mint, I'm going to rank up. It feels good to get out of that rowdy guild hall. And since we're in the neighborhood, there's an ex exhibit on local history that I'm dying to see. How do you feel about a quick museum visit? Uh, yeah, that's the flirt. I'm up for it. It's got to be better than work. Which is admittedly a low bar. I think you'll be impressed by this exhibit. Raft is a fascinating place after all. The museum is sparsely attended, which gives Sylvia a clear view of the displays. There are old maps, outdated brooms, and a small battered helm once worn by Robin himself, doubt it. Which Sylvia examines... Uh, while Sylvia examines antique potion making equipment, Mint ponders a pile of dust and metal shards. No legendary weapons here. Everything that the heroes took into battle with Maven was destroyed. But there's one artifact from that battle I never get tired of looking at. It's not far from here. This is more like it. Ah, yep. The Kraken Skull. The great outdoors and a big monster corpse. What could be better? That Kraken Skull is a cornerstone of this island's history. I assume you know the story. Uh, yeah, let's hear Mint's version. Yeah, but I'd love to hear your version. After all, you're the hero history buff. You don't have to ask me twice. It all started with Maven, the so-called Witch Queen. She claimed this island as her own, used as a sort of free-range laboratory for all kinds of wicked experiments. The first settlers of this very town were her unwilling accomplices. Not true. She used her mind control powers to prevent them from fleeing. Not true. Under her sway they did all sorts of labour for her. They even constructed that big monument to Maven in the bay, which you can actually see in the background. Huh. Her reign of terror went on for years before a brave band of heroes decided that enough was enough. They sailed here to liberate the island. Not true. Well, I mean, th that is why they came, but that wasn't the, the thing. A lot of the houses are made of ships. I've just noticed that in the background, look. And that, I mean, that is actually a lot, um, how a lot of, um, like, seafaring places did construct their houses. They did use the ships. I mean, not, not as literally as turning a ship upside down and that's your roof, but that is very much how um, a lot of, like, Viking, I believe, settlements were made. Maven summoned a kraken from the depths, intending to stop them from ever setting foot here. She didn't care who got flattened in the process. The heroes eventually got the best of the monster, but not before it had knocked their ship right out of the water. And to think, I'm now living inside that very ship. I'm pretty sure my cot is set up right next to Loremaster Laura and used to store his books. I feel so honoured by that, and so inspired, and well... Sometimes I feel like an imposter, like a kid who's playing dress-up. You should be kinder to yourself. I know I should, that's why we're here, I just... need to connect to this place. I need to feel the history, and my place in it. Mint closes her eyes and breathes in the salty air. Sylvia follows her example. A minute passes in comfortable... Oh, look at her! Comfortable silence. Finally, Sylvia feels Mint poker in the ribs. Sylvia opens her eyes and glares, but she can't keep the smile from her face. Feeling better already? I'm feeling inspired. I'm glad we came here. I'm glad they left that skull right where it fell. It's a tangible piece of our history and a reminder of why we need heroes. Heroes like you. I'm not there yet, but I won't give up on my goals. I'm keeping my eye on the prize. Ha! <laughs> no. Uh, apply Stalwart. Prevents next debuff. Can only be played if you three off your cards. I'm feeling inspired to do the same. Then we better get back to our respective quests. After all, you and I both have great feats to accomplish. I don't know if I mentioned it in the previous episode where Maven and stuff came up, but like the the different perspectives on this is a, another really organic form of natural storytelling. The the fact that there are these characters with different perspectives on things is so realistic and well done. Thank you, Zid. Thank you, Corsac. Mint and Zid are again back out in the forest, and Corsac, I'm going to rank up.
was just about to do some birdhouse construction. You any good with tools? Corsac doesn't wait for an answer. He hands over a small hammer and sets to work on his construction project. Occasionally he will grunt to indicate that Sylvia should hammer a nail while he holds wooden boards in place. So this is pretty fun, right? Right, cool. In just a short time they constructed a small four-sided box with circular entrances in each wall and a sloping roof. That's a pretty solid birdhouse. What, this? This is just the foyer. You know, that's the most you've said to me since I got here. You're not much of a talker, are you? I suppose I'm out of practice. It's been a while since I spent much time in the company of human beings. Really? Because people seem to be flocking to you when you were selling potions. Sort of had the impression you'd amass some fans, maybe even some groupies. Seems to have scared them off. They kept coming round with something like hunger in their eyes, started to feel like I was on the menu. So I spritzed them with some urine from a saber-toothed cantaloupe. Very pungent stuff, that urine. Oof, yeah, that's one way to chase people off. But that hunger you saw, were they maybe just eager to befriend you? Not sure I'm looking for friends, it's been a long time since I ran with a pack. Don't mind you being here and helping with the birdhouse. But I'm not sure I've got much to offer when it comes to socialising. Mm, flirt. I doubt that's true. You obviously led an interesting life. Lead an interesting life? So tell me about it. What have you been up to? Well, today I... I started working on a birdhouse. Right, I was here for that part, remember? I don't mean to be obtuse, Sylvia. And I do recognise when I'm being awkward. But despite what you think, chit-chat isn't as natural as all that. When you're up against a cornered animal, it isn't so hard to know what that animal's gonna do. Talking's different. People zig when you think they'll zag. They'll ask you questions already knowing what answers they want to hear. It's more complicated than anything I encounter out in the wilderness. <sighs> yeah, people are messy. People are messy, you're right about that. But you'll get the hang of it. After all, you're people too. Oh, but that actually... I wasn't sure... I had no idea which would work with him, so I just went with what I thought felt right. Homo sapiens, to be exact. At any rate, I shouldn't complain. This is a new situation I'm in, sure. But adaptability, that's what I do. You've got to be nimble on your feet if you want to survive a hostile setting. Adapt. Play an active stance to use this card. What? A hostile setting? Like retail? You're an odd one, Sylvia. I don't mind it though, especially since you're helping out with this birdhouse. Let's get the east wing started next, that's where the water slide will go. <laughs> oh wow, I've got another rank up, but it's time for me to go back. In the slimes, I've got some sequined whatever, some shell thingies, and some mana. Grand speed potion, very nice. Okay, so it's interesting to note that although I brewed this on a day when I had that enchantment, it didn't affect the actual potion. And a second lot of those. Ah, five star. Ooh, Potion Master just got an achievement. The achievement is for Craft 300 Potions. Wow. Damn, I should have uh, got some more Sprig and Antlers because I'm using up another four of them. Brew some of that. And another four. I am actually going to age for the Speed Potions because it's six time slots, which means it'll be ready by uh, sort of one, two... Uh, three, four in the night, five, six. So I will be able to sell them after the first selling session tomorrow. I should have enough potions for that. Quick pop into town and then head immediately back to bottle up some more speed potions. Five star and four star. Let's get some grand stamina potions as well because I'm basically out of things for speed potions. Second batch of them. And I guess now I'm hoping that tomorrow ends up being a decent selling day, because if it comes in with, oh, Boss Finn says you can't sell speed potions, then I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm screwed. No, Iggy's back. Just here to check my tomes. Oh, Day 28. It's not so bad without customers around. Oh, no, don't be Boss Finn. Ah, oh, no, it's Creepy Robin and his... Definitely Maven hiding in dragon form. Hello again, Sylvia. Uh, Robin and... and Ma it's, his name is May. Like, short for Maven. How did I not clock that immediately? Yeah. 
So beyond a doubt, the dragon, uh, the dragon is Maven, and the reason there was have I don't remember if I already said this. The reason Iggy, sorry, the reason Oswald turned into the owl is because he stumbled into the spell that Maven used to turn herself into a dragon. I didn't think I'd be seeing you before the competition. Did you reconsider and decide to buy a potion after all? Ha! Keep up the good work and I won't be able to resist. But no, I'm here to discuss another potion ma maker entirely. Do you know about this Boss Finn character? Merp. He's a piece of work, I can tell you that. He's using some kind of magical patent to prevent me from selling certain potions. Not just you, it's affecting all of us. And between you and me, I am not happy. It can't be legal. It's not, but who's going to step in? Rafter is barely civilized. We have the town guard to protect us from obvious violent crimes. But the subtler variety of criminal can ride roughshod over us for years. He's my next opponent, you know. We're scheduled to face off in a couple days. Oh, I'm aware. And I absolutely must maintain my objectivity. Otherwise, he and I would be having words right now. Instead, I'm having words with you about him. And I guarantee he won't enjoy that very much. If you happen to beat him, feel free to kick him while he's down, would you? I'll turn a blind eye. If you don't beat him, however, I'm going to kick you. I mean, my ob objectivity only has to last so long. And I've got a potion of dehydration with his name on it. Wow, that's threatening murder! Wow, I guess Bass Finn brings up a murder for <laughs> just about everybody. Oh, right. For a second, I... Never mind. So I, I think I accidentally clicked through. Yeah, I, I think she was talking to Iggy. No, oh, she looks sad. Beneficial, 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 beneficial. Still can't sell cures. Increased value for tonics. Uh, fruit costs less. Increased value for basic potions and ice... Ice crags regulated, sure. Whatever. Two days until the big one. Where does the time go? Got some... the uh, shells. Got some plants. Got some spores. Got some mana. Got some mana. I didn't use up all my Spriggan horns, did I? I think I, I might have. Damn! We've got some Grand Stamina and some Grand Stamina. Also some Superior Ice Potions aged up. I'll age up these Mana Potions, but I don't really have any need to. It's just because I don't like leaving it empty. I think I've just, like, wasted all of my materials. I've lost all of my really high-end stuff because I've just got... I can barely make a grand mana potion right now. Nonetheless, let's get some grand health potion. And some more, sure. You know, I've just noticed that the background has changed because I've got the uh, the crystalline forest background. That is amazing. I think this will be a decent selling day. 960 per stamina potion. Okay, let's give it a go. The Polar Bear Challenge. Ice Tonic and Shadow Tonic. Rafton's a t Oh yeah, we've already had this one. No thank you. Alright, let's uh, speed through some sales. I'm going to have to close it there. We don't have the patience to do a second round. 830. Maxed it out. 937. Oh damn. Gave me tension, followed by 5 stress, which doubled to 10. Bloody hell. I kind of think I should just bow out now. I've still got patience left, but I can't take the stress. It's gonna have to just bow out. 1,375. Ah! Service Garçon? Can we get a discount or what? What are you doing? Days. All cards cost one patience more. Damn. I see what it means about the, uh, like, get rid of debuffs. I see now why that is a very useful thing to have. I'm just gonna have to sell it there, I've run out of bloody patience. That is stunning, that daze. Wow, okay. 848. Extreme weather. Uh, ice and thunder. Yep, clever. I kinda think I should bow out there. Cause I don't, I don't remember if that is incorporated into that. I think it is. But I don't wanna risk it, so I'm just gonna close the deal. At 1203. Alright, I sold five potions. Could have been better. Got some more mildew. My speed potions have aged. Thank you. I'm just gonna age these petrification pills just cause. Petrification cures just cause. 
Most valuable potions I've got, all on display. Income hacks. Sitting through electron tax codes. Oh yeah, Drazen is an inside. So it seems that there aren't like a massive number of these. I'm, I've had quite a few repeats already. Oh no, a stress card. That's bad. Oh, four more stress. I'm not prepared for that. I think I'm just going to close the deal there. Not a great price. 707. Productivity streak. Yep, seen that one before. Oh, look there. Corsac's adapt card changes to deal 16 interest. I see. So the adapt cards, uh, well, yeah, they, they solve the problem of you can only play his cards once. Okay. I think I'm going to have to close this turn because I've got... <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of stress cards. So let's go with flattery and then sleight of hand. Yeah, decent eight six seven. Zid, hello. Also, good to know the squirrel persists between haggling at the same sort of time you're here. So you play it once in the very first haggling session, like of a sale period, and it just stays there. That is incredible. Damn. Terrible deal for me because I just fumbled this. Close at 795. Again, not a brilliant deal, but just over a thousand. Close deal. Awareness campaign, I remember that one. Oh hell, I'm up to 17. Look at her little face. If I end the turn, I'm only going to have two patients to play with, so one essentially, or I can just end it now. So I'll have to do that. 1,100. Oh shite. Grabbed the wrong card. Closed it. Oh, that would have been so good. I got, I mean, I got 1,200 and I closed it early. Six sales. Not bad. Sadly, the two highest cost ones did not bloody sell. Got a fish, some rot melon, some fingers, and some mana. Some grand health potions and, and some more grand health potions. I've never made insight enhancers, so I'm going to try making some enhancers. And I'm going to see about making those my, like, main selling thing, because normal potions just don't sell for much. And some dowsing enhancers too. Maybe if I had better display shelves, I would get, like, eight customers rather than just five or six. Hmm. Maybe they are worth it after all. So this is what happens when I try and sell this. Boss Finn's event is preventing you from selling these potions, smug git. Well, this is the last sale I'm doing today, and these are up, so I think I'll just stick, like... A load of other potions in here just to try and get as much out of today as I can. Maybe I'm silly to put all of these things in here but they're all increased in value you know so I just kind of feel it's probably worth it. I've not really been using these potions and I'm probably gonna brew up a load more anyway so I'm just gonna yeah sell all of this as much as I can. God look how fully stocked the place looks it looks amazing. Oh, I can't wait to expand further and just get like two more shells and just have them all fully stocked. It's going to be amazing, Sylvia. You shouldn't work so late. This might come in handy on the high seas. Uh, yes. Oh, hell, I'm going into this with 17 bloody stress. Yikes. Oh, no. No, I'm going to have to close deal. I'm at 24% bloody stress. Oh, I really should have paid more attention to that. No, look at her little face. She's worried. 827, not amazing. 1,176, six, uh, six, six, whatever. I can read numbers. Strain, wow. Uncertainty, I'm getting terrible things. Yeah, stress is a real bloody problem on these long selling days. I need to stack the deck much better. Oof, these, these aren't going to affect me because I'm going to close the deal now at 9.08. Ah, oh, Baptiste. Sylvia, look at you, so diligent. I might go for this one if you can sell me on it. I can, I can captivate you and why the hell are you going for the five stress? Yikes, that is hardcore. Oh. No, look at her face. Yeah, okay, stress is a severe problem now. Oh. Oh my god! Yeah, at this point I'm drawing at least one or two stress cards a turn. It's probably a bad idea for me to to keep doing this. Jeez, yeah. Can't play Blitz because of all the stress. Close the deal there. 1,179, not too bad actually, considering I was fighting through the worst stress I've ever had. 
Aha, this is the book I was looking for. He's coming back to check on her. 1,000, sorry, 15,702. That is a good selling day.